Right, so I've installed GTA 3 off the CDs, just using stock version of Wine. Nothing special needed for that. Let's double click on it to open it. Let's wait for that little black square to disappear. And then press enter twice. And it opens. That's the only workaround needed for this game. Everything else works absolutely fine. So we'll just do a mission to show everything working. We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. Let's lay our cards on the table. I'm Yakuza, and I know you worked for Salvatore and his family. I can give you work with our organization, but first you must prove to me that your ties with the Mafia are truly broken. Salvatore Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about three hours' time. Make sure he doesn't reach his club alive. Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asaka, you got a massager. That's not a massager. So to get GTA 3 installed, so first off open Wine config, so config of Wine. And then you want to go across to the drives, or add a new one, so the FG. And I want to map a path across to the install CD. I've got one already mapped in for the audio, yeah, GTA 3 audio. So it's in media, and just select GTA 3. Yeah, apply. Right, we'll look at the rest of the options I've got. So under graphics, I'm not emulating a virtual desktop. You can, but I find it tends to mess up with the control pad. Easier not to emulate one. That's it, then, uh, then we'll go across to the home folder and just go on to the CD, the GTA 3. 
And if I double click the setup, and it'll go through it. I'm not going to go not going to go through this because I've already done it. But it's very simple. You treat it as you would a Windows installation. And as I said, when you've got it installed, double click on GTA 3 to run it. Simple as. Thanks for watching. See you later.